Uh, yes, my name is Mark Cormier. I'm from the west coast of Newfoundland, a place called Cape St. George on the port of port Peninsula. I call it the French capital of Newfoundland because that's where the roots of the French uh, descendants are, are, are from. Our community is different in its culture and language to the rest of the province. Okay, they were, were way different, we're unique in that sense. Okay, uh, for years we were isolated from the rest of the province. Okay, uh, that isolation helped us preserve our language and our culture. Uh, we were ignored for a long, long time by the government. We weren't even supposed to be there, okay? Uh, because there was a, a minister uh, back in 1939 who sort of got up in, in, in the chambers and, and said, by such and such a year, there won't be one French Newfoundlander left on the island, okay? We're still around and, and very proud of that fact that we're still here, okay? And, and, and because we're different, we had to we add to the the uh, uniqueness of the province, okay. So I'm proud to be a French Newfoundlander, but I'm also proud to be a Newfoundlander, okay. Uh, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else, okay. I've been uh, to many places, but I'm always glad to come back home. Growing up uh, in my home, I was very fortunate in that uh, uh, there was music. I, had two, I have two brothers who play the accordion, and I had music and I was pretty well every day. And uh, we had a lot of storytellers come in, uh, because my dad used to make own brew. So we had own brew, we had music, everything for a party, and we had visitors often, okay? All my schooling was done in English. Uh, I grew up in a, a dominant French community as a child. Uh, today. Uh, the trends have changed, and about 30% of the population still, be, still, still speaks French. Um, I uh, went to university. I went back home and did, uh, taught for 31 years. I'm very proud of my language and my culture. I thank God uh, that my parents, my grandparents, provided me with the language uh, and, and my culture. And I, I, I've shared that with as many people as I could. Uh, uh, especially with my students, okay, and I, I try to instill in them that love of the language and, and, and the culture that they have and, and to be proud of their history. Uh, like I say, with the storytelling and, and the, the language and the culture part of it, uh, I try to instill this into all the students that I work with and uh, we're seeing some of the results today. Uh, we have young, young uh, adults who have left the community and are now coming back to work in, in their native tongue, okay. So that's, I'm very proud of that part of it. And now I'm sort of uh, trying to get used to retirement, which is a new experience, uh, but not a bad one. Uh, recently, uh, in the month of January, I, uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, have my first grandchild born, grandson. So that's a new experience. I wonder what the future is going to bring us. Uh, what kind of leaders is going to bring us? Um, and it's not just my community, but everywhere, all over the world. Um, it's great that things have, have progressed, and now we're, we're connected to the world, okay? Because um, until I was nine or 10 years old, we had no electricity in our community. So I went from absolutely having nothing, except an oil lamp, providing the house to everything that we have today. That's a big change. That's a lot of change over a period of 50 years, okay? And uh, like I said, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of positive things with everything that we have today. But the social part of it, it scares me, okay? Uh, we're, we're losing a lot of, of what made us special, okay? Uh, and I'm talking about Newfoundland in general. And uh, so I wonder what, what the future is going to bring us in that regard. There's this song that I learned uh, as a child. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, my dad used to make own brew. And we had a, a neighbor who lived two houses from us. And the lady of the house loved my dad's own brew. And she always found an excuse to come over to get a glass. Okay? So every time she came over, she'd sing this song. It's called Le Voleur. J'ai passé l'an d'une grange et j'ai passé l'an d'une grange et le chevalier mangeait et le chevalier mangeait 
Il disait dans son langage, miam miam miam, miam miam miam. Moi je croyais, il disait, v'là le bonhomme, v'là le bonhomme. Il fallait que je me sauvais, il fallait.